We are still in page 1124, and I want to look at, uh, there's only like three or four lessons left <clears throat> in this piece. Sorry, I have a tickle in my throat this afternoon. Um, page 24, we have fraction exponents. Now, I don't know if you remember having fraction exponents before or if that's a new concept for you, but uh, let me just show you real quick what that means because it's not as scary as it maybe looks at first. The, <clears throat> let's say I have the square root of nine. That actually is the same thing as writing one half as the exponent on nine, okay? So if I had, um, what if I had eight? Well, I actually have it up here. Eight to the one third power. That would be the same as eight with an index of three and an exponent in here of one. One over three, one third. And so that means what number times itself, times itself, times itself, three times equals eight. So that's easy, that would give us two, okay? <clears throat> Just like this would give us the answer of three. Now, if we have an exponent outside of parentheses, it's kind of like being distributed to everything inside the parentheses, okay? Now let me erase this here. And let's take a look. 25, go ahead and write the one half exponent, okay? x to the 4, we'll put that times 1 half, so 4 times 1 half is 4 over 2. And then y to the second, multiplied times 1 half would be to the 2 over 2 power. All right, now you just have to reduce it. So obviously this is easy, 4 over 2, just reduce that. 2 over 2, anything divided by itself is... And then the 25 to the half does not mean half of 25. Okay, that's the most common mistake the students make when they look at this and they're thinking, what would that be, 12.5? No, what number times itself equals 25, all right? So I'll let you finish that one. I think you have that one in your homework. Let's talk about this one now. When we have an exponent that has a numerator that's greater than one, all right, so these two that we did here is like one half, one third. Those are kind of easy. But um, this type we have to separate out. Let me show you an easier one first. If I had, let's say, um, eight, and a fancy eight, look at that, to the three halves power. If I just had eight to the three halves. <clears throat> um, Actually, that's not what we want. Two thirds. I think this one's even two thirds. I think I miswrote that. We're going to break this apart and first do the exponent on the eight. So the one, the uh, the denominator. I mean, so one third, eight to the one third, and then raise that to the second power. Now, notice if I were to. I could easily go from this back to this, multiply two times one third, and I would have two thirds. But I'm going this direction, so I'm separating the numerator from the denominator. Leave the denominator inside the parentheses, pull the numerator outside, here's why. What is the third root of eight? Well, we have it right here. The third root of eight is two. So now I have two to the second power. And that's easy, two times two is four. All right, piece of cake. Now I hope I, uh, let me just pull up the pace here and make sure I didn't copy it down wrong. Um, I was trying to grab one from your homework here to kind of help you. Yeah, see number 11, I had written it on the board wrong. So this is the way it is in your, in your pace for that problem. So let's talk about how we would separate this because now we have a fraction raised to a fraction. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and we don't have a numerator of one, we have two up there. Let's talk about how we do this then. We're gonna write the eight over 27 and raise that to the, let me do it this way to the one third power. When we get that answer, we're going to square it, okay? 
Well, 8 over 27, think of what fraction times itself, times itself, three times, would give me 8 over 27. We could also think of it as distributing this one-third to both of these, okay? So we already did this one. This numerator becomes 2, because 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 27 is 3 times 3, which is 9, times 3 again is 27. So this whole part here simplifies to be 2 thirds. That would be the third root of 8 27ths. And now you're going to raise that to the second power, which just means 2 thirds times 2 thirds. Okay, I'll let you finish that one. That's pretty easy. Now we have one with a decimal. All right, same idea. Let's break it apart. So 0 0.027, we'll raise that to the one third, and then that whole thing gets raised to the second power. So think about what decimal number times itself, times itself, times itself three times would equal this decimal number here. And I propose to you that it would be 0 0.3, because when you do, 0.3 times 0.3, you get 0 0.09. Take 0 0.09 times 0 0.03, and you have to add another decimal place then, and you get the 27. All right, then it's a piece of cake to solve this, right? You just take the 0.3 times itself squared, and you have the answer. All right, I hope those few examples and, and problems that we did on the board here, started them at least, will get you over your fear of doing the problems here on page 24.